What is this, day three? I don't even know. Mm. It's Monday. It's Monday. John's about to head to work. Yeah, so he's going to have to kill an hour. Before catching the train to Cambridge to visit the world's first Raspberry Pi store. So I'm giving him recommendations on where to go. So when you're at King's Cross, St Pancras, mm -hmm. um, walk out and go towards Granary Square. And it's actually quite nice. It's it's tourist a tourist attraction. attraction. Tourist attraction, yeah. yeah. It's good. It's an old, old buildings that have been done up to be hipster. You know what they're like. That's what they do. Every country does that. Cool. Yeah. Well, check it out. Yeah. You have an hour to kill and it's quite nice. And it's, it's the canal as well, so we can walk up and down the canal. I was wondering why there are androids on the building. Google and Facebook are both building campuses at King's Cross. So that's what these are. Same spot I took my London selfie back in 2017, first time I came here. It's cool. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We will shortly be arriving at Cambridge where this train will divide. Devoid? You heard that correctly, this train splits in two and then the other half continues on for the journey. Um, oh yeah, and I, I did get stuck at the boot gate again. I'm not good at this stuff. That's Cam River, which is probably where this place gets its name, and this is Castle Mound, a uh, basically a little lookout over the city. It used to be a castle, now it's just a big patch of soil. Uh, very exciting. So I mostly wanted to come here today because the first ever Raspberry Pi store has opened up here in Cambridge. Um, I believe this is where they originated, and so I'm going to go check that out. But before I do, I'm going to have a look at some of the sites. So the Raspberry Pi, if you're not familiar, is a teeny tiny little computer, costs about 30 pounds and you can do a whole bunch of kind of cool hacks with it. So I think today I'm going to get one from the Raspberry Pi store, only yeah, one in the world. If you do it a little bit further, further back, it will stop, it will flicker a lot less. Yeah, that's cool. Um, this must be quite fun to video. And this is all networked together? Yeah, it's triggered by sensors. Oh, wow. uh, just some sensors on there, and then it's got the news. And that is so cool. I have a friend who would love that. It's quite an expensive way to make a mirror, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. And then that's our cheering couple. This is really good, but um, that might have to fix it first. So it's the marbles tumble; they like flip bits. Exactly. Or something? If I borrow around that to go all that way, mm -hmm. just leave that. Uh -huh. And sort of work some binary and logic to tie in. So it should come out red, blue, red, blue. Yeah, this is like mechanical programming. Very, very cool. Um, oh, I love it. Have you got like rainbow cases? All right, well, I think I will grab the pie. Yeah. It's awesome. Thank That's you very right. much. Until the final furlong. See you next year, is that what you said? See you, ne oh, it's like, how do you spell C-U-N-E? It's sort of like tune, isn't it? What about catch you next year? Same, isn't it? It is! 
what am I doing? <laughs> anyway, it's been fun, really fun. Good trip to Cambridge. Tom uh, took his lunch break to hang yes. out. Yes. I did. Yeah, now it's time to catch yeah, the thing. Anyway, it's been fun. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> uh, anyway, you better go catch a train. <laughs> And welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. Let's uh, start by cracking the lid. Oh my. This is a tricky one. Oh. I'm sorry guys, I can't get this open. <laughs> 